It's time to introduce you to one of my favorite mashed potato recipes you will ever come across. It results in silky smooth texture, beautiful melting cheese all the way running through it. It is potato aligo and it is spectacular. It is one of the best potatoes I think I have in my recipe collection. Now, it starts off with some potatoes that have been simmering away for about 12 to 15 minutes, just until they're really nice and tender. These potatoes have been drained, they're nicely cooked, and now it's time to get them to a really nice smooth consistency. And to do that, I have a potato ricer. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can actually use a wooden spoon and mash through a colander just until you get the right consistency. Basically, you're trying to get those little strands of potato to be in the smallest point possible. Uh, but I'm going to do it with the potato ricer because it's just a little bit easier and you do get a better finish on it. It's a bit of elbow grease at the start, but it does result in the most smooth mashed potato you will ever try. The potatoes I've used here are some rooster potatoes. Now, if you can't get these, something like a Yukon Gold will work, but traditionally this recipe is made with a blue-skinned, kind of waxy fleshed one that you can pretty much only get in France. So these Yukon potatoes or the rooster potatoes will do the job in terms of giving you a substitute. So let's get ricing and let's get mashing. I have my little potato worms all good to go. And now I'm gonna grab up all this potato and stick it over heat. Now the interesting thing here with this, rather than potato or mashed potato as you normally would make it, is that we're looking to develop the starch that's in these potatoes naturally to give us this almost elastic -y finish to this mashed potato. So just start adding in the butter and we're gonna fold this through until it becomes nice and melted. While this comes up to temperature, I'm gonna heat up some cream that is gonna give you this silky and luxurious and extravagant finish to these mashed potatoes. You can see the consistency changes and you almost have sort of like a potato dough, but it's at this point now I'm gonna start trickling in my warm cream just to give myself a nice smooth finish to this. All the cream is in at this point and you can see the consistency it is just velvety and creamy, but we haven't exactly got that elasticity into it that I want. So I'm gonna take this off the heat at this point, grab up the two cheeses which are gonna help us with elasticity. One is some Gruyere cheese, and for a really nice cheesy alpine bite, we have some Vacheron. So that goes straight in here, and we're going to, oh, it's kind of stuck to the bowl, but that's okay. You just gotta peel it out and get it on in there. So give this a good mix through, and the heat from the cream and the potatoes in there is just gonna help melt this down, and then it's just a case of giving it a good beat until you've got nice elasticity. Now you might notice that I've changed to a whisk and that's because purely my arm is hanging off me at this point because I've been whisking for the last 10 minutes. And really what you're looking for here is this. And that, my friends, is pretty much there. Okay, so I'm gonna serve this up. Now, you can serve this as a, as a nice side dish. It's beautiful as it is, but to really bring it to the next level, I'm gonna serve it up with some ham alongside some chives. Just look at how silky that looks. This is why you go to that little bit of extra effort. It is the perfect side dish, but to be perfectly honest, if you were stuck in a mountain ski lodge, it would be the sort of thing you'd have a little touch of butter over the top, some nice sprinkled crisp ham, just basically broken over the top like that. And then maybe if you wanted to go the extra mile, you might take up a little bit of chives, take up a sharp knife and then just Cut these nice and finely so you get that lovely oniony bite just over the top. And a last little touch of some salt and a little pinch more of white pepper just to give you that bite. Right, I think we need to talk no more and we just need to dive into this cheesy, beautiful, bacony, chivey mess. That is where it's at velvety, cheesy, stringy mashed potato topped with that crispy ham over the top and that little hit of oniony bite from the chives. I mean, this is a mash to take home to your mammy because it is absolutely gorgeous. 
if you want the recipe for this cheesy, velvety, elasticy potato goodness, you'll get it in the box below over my website. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment letting me know if you're going to try this next level mashed potato or puree. And until then, you're going to have to leave me alone because I now have a lot of mashed potato I have to eat by myself. Goodbye.